to our channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the properties, advantages, and disadvantages of organic and synthetic fertilizers. We will be comparing them in terms of 1. Composition 2. Application 3. Nutrient Availability 4. Cost and 5. Environmental Impacts 1. Composition. Both organic and synthetic fertilizers contain nutrients that help plants grow up healthy and strong. Organic fertilizer contains plant or animal-based materials that are either a byproduct or end product of naturally occurring processes such as manures, leaves, and compost. Synthetic fertilizer, on the other hand, contains minerals or synthetic chemicals that are artificially manufactured from mined elements. 2. Application. In organic fertilizers, the available types and amounts of nutrients are not known. Without laboratory testing, they have inconsistent composition and results. On the other hand, the exact amounts of nutrients available in synthetic fertilizers and their rates of application are known. Let's take a look at this table. For example, this table shows the nutrient contents of the six major synthetic fertilizers available in the Philippines. The second column shows the percentage of nitrogen content of the fertilizer by weight, while the third and fourth columns provide the percentages by weight of phosphorus and potassium, respectively. Urea and ammonium sulfate provide only nitrogen, with 46 and 21 percent contents by weight, respectively. Ammonium phosphate and diammonium phosphate provide a mixture of nitrogen and phosphorus. Complete provides a balanced mix of nutrients with 14% of each of the three primary nutrients, while myriad of potash provides only potassium with a 60% grade. Now, let's take a look at this table. This table provides percentages of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium present in organic fertilizers. This table is from a report authored by Ross Penhiligon, a horticulture extension specialist from the Oregon State University. One thing you've noticed is that there is a great variation in nutrient values among organic fertilizers. In fact, even fertilizers with the same organic materials could vary greatly in terms of nutrient contents. Let's take a look at chicken manure, just to give you an idea how great that variation could be. As shown here, the nitrogen content of the chicken manure could vary from 1.5% to 6%. Phosphorus content could vary from 1 to 4, and potassium from 0 to 3. Penhiligon report provides a list of factors that affect the nutrient contents of organic fertilizers. These are the age of organic material, its decomposition rate, application method and timing, incorporation time, time exposed to the elements such as rain and sun, the percentage of organic matter and water the material contains carbon to nitrogen ratio, microbe population and soil type. Just by looking at these factors we can say outright that no two organic fertilizers are the same. Different samples of the same organic materials could have different nutrient values and yield different results. You may be interested to know which organic fertilizers have the highest NPK values. Well, here is a table that provides the top 8 for each of the three primary macronutrients. And, again, here is the list of the major synthetic fertilizer grades available in the Philippines. 3. Nutrient Availability Nutrient levels in organic fertilizers are low, compared to synthetic fertilizers. Synthetic fertilizers contain highly concentrated nutrients. However, organic fertilizer may provide other macronutrients and micronutrients not found in synthetic fertilizers, such as sulfur, calcium, magnesium, aluminum, iron, zinc, copper, boron, manganese, silicon, sodium, cobalt, chlorine, and molybdenum. Synthetic fertilizers provide specific types of nutrients which are usually limited to one or more of the three primary nutrients, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Organic fertilizers are slow-acting and takes time to supply nutrients to plants. They only release nutrients under favorable conditions, such as when the soil is warm and moist. Synthetic fertilizers, on the other hand, are fast-acting and provides rapid nutrition. They are very useful in helping plants that are in severe 
distress due to nutrient deficiencies. Organic fertilizers also rely on soil organisms to break down materials so nutrients can be released, while synthetic fertilizers are available in plant-ready forms, such as dry granular pellets or water-soluble products. Organic fertilizers promote root growth, which is necessary for absorbing slow-release nutrients from the soil, while synthetic fertilizers promote rapid plant growth at the expense of developing a strong root system. Excess top growth could stress roots, which would have to work hard in order to sustain the overgrown plant. Since nutrients in organic fertilizers are held in organic matters and depends on microorganisms for release, the risk of leaching is very small compared to synthetic fertilizers. The risk of leaching is higher with synthetic fertilizers. Nutrients from synthetic fertilizers don't last long. They are either absorbed by the plant or are carried away by water. They could easily drain away deep into the soil where plants can't access them. Again, since nutrients in organic fertilizers are released very slowly, they could feed the plant for a much longer period of time. Whereas nutrients in synthetic fertilizers are quickly released and don't stay too long. They deliver faster results but requires regular application to keep results from fading. 4. Cost In terms of cost, organic fertilizers are higher in the short term compared to synthetic fertilizers. This high short-term cost, however, can be offset by its long-term benefits. 5. Environmental Impacts among the other benefits of organic fertilizers is its ability to improve the quality of soil over time. While heavy applications of synthetic fertilizers can burn plants and build up toxic salt concentrations which can create chemical imbalances to the soil, organic fertilizers contain matters that increase the soil's ability to hold water and nutrients so they don't easily run away. On the contrary, synthetic fertilizers could easily be carried away by rain, water and run off into waterways causing harm to marine life and the quality of water. Less greenhouse gas is released in the atmosphere during production of organic fertilizers. While production of synthetic fertilizers entails releasing a greater amount of greenhouse gas into the atmosphere. This table provides a summary of the things we have talked about so far in this video. If you have any question, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. In another video, we will talk about the effects of the three macronutrients to your plant's health. And if you're not subscribed yet to this channel, please subscribe now and hit the notification bell so you'll be updated on our next videos. This concludes our presentation. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Thank you.